We are on the pending applicants screen for the applicant we want to hire for a position. And we are about to learn how to do that within Munis. But first, we want to emphasize that before you get to this stage, you need to have your interview paperwork. That includes all interview candidates, all of the paperwork from your interviews with all of your interview candidates, including the person you would like to hire, need to be at the personnel office. The personnel office needs to have already received all of that paperwork. And at the same time, you need to have completed your reference checks for the person you would like to hire. Again, before you get to this stage of choosing your applicant that you would like to hire within Munis, you need to send all of your interview paperwork, including the reference checks of the person you would like to hire, up to the personnel office so that we can make sure we have those before you get to this stage. So now that we've got that settled um, and you've sent all of your proper paperwork up to the personnel office, we are going to choose the applicant's um, status that will show um, the personnel office who you want to hire. So first of all, get on the pending applicant screen of the person you would like to hire. And then you should be able to click the update button. As you can see, it's got a square grid with a little pencil on it. So click that and come down to the status where this cursor is blinking. This one says new. If you are choosing somebody for hire, you will choose accepted. Now that does not necessarily mean that person has been contacted and has actually accepted the position yet. Just remember that we are working within the confines of what Munis has to give us within their drop down menu. So person you would like to hire, click update, change the status to accepted, hit enter or accept, and then go down to the more screen, drop it down and click release. Now clicking release will send that person into the approval queue and that will require the approval of the personnel office, the personnel administrator, and several um, upper level supervisors before the personnel office is able to call this person and hire them officially. So that is how you change a person's applicant status in pending applicants when you want to hire them. Remember, please do this after you send all of your interview paperwork up to the personnel office, including the reference checks for this person that you want to hire. If you have any questions, please let the personnel office know and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.